Hey YouTube. Oh, I'm just setting my camera up because these winter circle cars don't look good in my camera. If I don't set it up already. Alright, so here we go. Here's my first 2010 review. So I'm trying to make this one a good one. Um, yeah, this is going to be on Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2010 Amp Energy Chevy. Um, I got this at Walmart for 5 bucks, And this review was requested by Ultimate Racer 24, I think. Yeah, so this is the new 2010 package. A lot of people have probably already seen this on YouTube before because other people have done reviews with uh, this kind of packaging. Not a lot of whole, or not, I don't know. There wasn't a whole lot of people who did this car, but there was some who did this, probably like four maybe. Alright, yeah, so I'm going to go over the box because it's a newer type of box. Uh, 164 Winter Circle NASCAR, ages four and up. And then there's all this dumb stuff like the warning choking hazard, warning magnet hazard, and all that stuff. Um, Hendrick Motorsports, the NASCAR hologram, and that's the new schedule. I'll show you that when I take it out of the box. Uh, uh, yeah, main colors of the box are gray, black, and red. Just to put that out there. And then the back of the box is probably going to be different for all, every driver, but this is Dale Jr., so it has 88 Hendrick. Amp and National Guard. And up at the top, just WinterCircle.com and all that stuff. In the background here, there's it's a gray background, but it's got like a track on the background, and can't really tell who's on the track because the cars are like the contrast is put way up. But yeah, this is my first 2010 review, so I hope you guys like it. So let's take it out of the package. The package actually, well, I open this, holds the car in this year. It's like really tight it actually like stabilizes the car so the car's not going to move around at all which is better but this car is really hard to open this is brought to you by amp energy overdrive in case you i didn't say that already all right let me try to get this thing out winning circle cars are really annoying all right yeah so here's the 2010 schedule that's what it looks like this year and yeah here's the car Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2010 Amp Energy Chevy. He's still driving for Hendrick, even though he had a really bad year last year. Um, he just didn't finish a lot of races and just wasn't good. You, he, you like rarely saw him in the top 10 or anything. Just wasn't that good of a year for him, but hopefully this year he'll do better because I think he does have some potential in him to do something good. And I think he'll be a contender for the 2010 Daytona 500, actually. So, th I'm, not, I'm not saying this is like my prediction or anything. I'll make a prediction when it gets closer to the race, but I think he'll be a contender there. So, yeah, it's a winner's circle car, so there's no um, w sponsor on the wing, and the bottom's black, just to get that out there, so I don't forget to say that later. So, yeah, let's go over the sponsors. Main sponsors, Amp Energy, Chevy Impala. And this year, just as Impala there, not Impala SS, which is kind of a new thing. But it's kind of cool in a way, because it goes back to the more classic times, I guess you could call it. Alright, um, here we go. It's Spring Cup Series, 88, Dale Jr. with a flag next to his name, then 88 on the roof. Amp Energy, and www.bethematch.org. And then there's a whole bunch of smaller decals. They're really hard to read. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to read the first one, but the next one is Bosch Spark Plugs, Siemens Freightliner, and Hendrick Motorsports. Um, Mountain Dew, it's got the new Mountain Dew logo. This is like the first of his regular schemes for Winter Circle that actually had the Mountain Dew new logo on it. So that's kind of cool. Um, National Guard. National Guard in the rear decklet also, as well as it does have it on the back of the car too. So yeah, um, very nice car. Uh, I like this scheme a lot better than last year's or the year before. Um, yeah, so this is probably going to get a high rating from me. Let's just finish going over it and I'll get to that. Um, main colors of this car are green, white, and red. 
talk about the paint scheme. Um, it starts with a green splitter down here, as you can see, on a white base. And the splitter's green, and it's kind of a stripe, and it goes across the side skirt here. As you can see, down there, it's all green. And it's the same with the rear quarter panels. It has the green, too. So the stripe starts at the splitter and comes up all the way up here. Except it doesn't go all the way around the car. It stops with a black back. That's how all of the all of his regular schemes have been the last couple of years. The black back. Um, and same with this side. It's the same. There's also a green, um, like stripe kind of thing. It goes. It starts at the hood and comes all the way up over the roof and down by the rear deck lid here. Um. Yeah, the 88s are red and outlined in white and then black everywhere and amps in white outlined in black and national guard is white outlined in red pretty much everywhere except here where it's red outlined in black um actually there's a thin like streak i'm not it looks kind of like it could be black but it could be a dark green it's hard to see you can't really see it but it's a stripe above all of the large green stripes up here and down here there's a little small stripe above those like a pinstripe and it goes just like goes about probably like on the real car it'd be like an inch but here it's just like less than a millimeter away from the green so yeah just to point that out it's also Quaker State on the tail light right here um yeah this is like all the winter circle cars the black bottom the black tie, um, plastic tires and the white plastic window net. Um, this is a very nice car. I've got to say this is Dale Jr.'s best regular scheme he's had. Um, not like special schemes, just regular ones like Ant Mountain Dew, the regular ones. Over the last three years, this has got to be his best one. Um, yeah, so here's a 360 view of the car. Here's the left side. Here's the front. Here's the right side, and there's the back. If I had to give this car a rating, I would give it a 9 out of 10. It's not, it's a little bit rare right now, but obviously, because it's Dale Jr.'s major scheme, it's not going to be rare within the next couple of months. It's going to be, like, everywhere. So, yeah, I'd give this car a 9 out of 10. It's a very, very nice car, and you should pick it up at your Walmart along with some others. So, yeah, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to Phantom 21 and I'll see you with my next review.